Ne next up, uh, we have GastroX, real-time interactive fluids and soft tissues on mobile and VR. Presenting are Sam Glassenberg and Andy Saya from Level X. Sam is the CEO and founder, and Andy is the development lead. These guys have spent their careers in the games industry at places like LucasArts, Microsoft DirectX, and Phosphor Games. Now at Level X, they are, they are unleashing all that tech and know-how on unsuspecting doctors, including some novel real-time fluids and soft body approaches. Take it away, guys. All right. All right, so at Level X, we make video games for doctors. And these aren't games that teach you how to be a doctor or these, you know, these aren't games for wannabe doctors, they're for professionals. Um, and so to do that, we really need to capture the challenge of surgery. Not the boring scenarios that you'd see every day, but the rare once in a lifetime adrenaline pumping, oh my God, what the hell is that? Doctor, fix it or the patient's gonna die scenarios, like this physics puzzle uh, where a carpenter had, was holding some nails in his mouth and he breathed one in uh, and it punctured his bronchus. And so to capture this, we, we really need to solve uh, some classically hard visual effects problems, like 3D fluids. Um, in this case, we've got obviously some highly viscous fluids. We've got mucus rendered as a ray traced sine distance field, refracting the scene and blended into the environment perfectly against the, against the depth buffer. And everything that we do, everything that we do is not only running in real time, um, to make the problem even harder, everything we're showing you here, Andy is playing off of an iPhone. Um, and so, and literally everything we're showing you here, you can play on your own device. Just download Gastro X from your favorite app store. Uh, so yes, this is the large intestine. Um, so here inside the butt, we have, we're, we're surrounded by this totally interactive soft tissue environment. Literally everything moves. Uh, this, our GPU-based relaxation solver, it's global. So you can see as this moves and interacts with the tissue, you can see it even affecting tissue at a distance. Um, I can press this semi-rigid wire snare along the surface. I can push down these ridges. Um, and I can take my forceps. Uh, and I can literally grab any tissue that I want. And as I pull it toward the camera, you can see the subsurface scattering from this super strong LED that's right next to the lens. Um, so I'm going through and I'm playing what seems like a really tough hidden object game. Uh, I gotta find all the precancerous polyps. They hide behind ridges. Uh, there, we're gonna remove that one right there. Uh, and so we pull it off and holy crap, there's a blood vessel hiding underneath it. Uh, so now I've triggered a massive bleed three and a half meters inside the, or three and a half feet inside the body. So now you can see another one of our GPU uh, based fluid solvers in action. The 3D blood totally interacts with the soft tissue environment. It fills, it overflows the valleys. As I move around the blood, you know, it flows realistically. So now I've got a physics game. Uh, I can use this high pressure water jet that Andy's using to spray away the blood long enough uh, in order to identify the source of the bleed. You'll notice the fluids, they all mix realistically. The blood actually has different scattering parameters than the water. Um, so to seal the bleed, uh, I'm going to deploy my argon plasma coagulator. Uh, it's just like a plasma rifle in a first-person shooter, uh, only it's actually real. Uh, surgeons use these all the time. Uh, yeah. Too much damage. Too much damage. Too much damage. So. What we're showing here, these sims are literally all running in mobile GPU pixel shaders. Uh, all the source data is stored in texture. Uh, we have this moving simulation front that moves along with the camera. The environment itself is this canonical tube that we displace with multiple overlaying displacement maps that we blend using programmable blend hardware in really interesting ways. So as you can see here, I can literally remove, and he can remove chunks of tissue from this highly squishy tumor as we, as we biopsy it. Um, most, most games feature characters uh, inside of environments. At Level X, we make games that uh, feature environments inside of characters. Um, so now we're gonna we're gonna switch to VR. The, the beauty of having a phone as your target platform uh, is that it's easy to scale it up to high-end VR. Uh, so on phones we're frame locked to 30 frames a second, but on a high-end 
GPU, uh, we can run at 120 frames a second. It's a little bit bouncy up here. Um, but we can bump up the sim res like crazy uh, to create what is a ridiculously awesome VR experience. Uh, literally, you're surrounded by this squishy, soft body environment, and Andy is literally manipulating it with his hands. Uh, so, you know, as you go into surgery as a patient, um, you don't really realize how doctors actually train. Um, the first time a doctor encounters a rare or difficult uh, or complicated case like the ones we showed you, uh, it's on a live patient, a live human being. Uh, that patient could be you uh, or someone that you love. Um, so, bottom line is better games and better shaders make better doctors. Uh, so. The 50-person the team behind this, uh, there we go. Uh, we inc it includes game developers from, uh, and game developers, designers, and artists from LucasArts, Microsoft, EA, Midway, and elsewhere. Uh, and we're hiring. Uh, thank you very much.